What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am here filming this video in 2022. You are watching this video in 2023, a year later. It's crazy. Happy New Year, I hope you are all having a wonderful start to the new year. <laughs> Just wanna let you know, I'm actually filming this on New Year's Eve. Don't get it twisted, I have plenty of time to binge watch the Twilight Zone marathon and fall asleep by 8.30 p.m. But I'm super excited to be here. I wanted to film this as soon as possible because we have a brand new Buff Bunny launch. Have you seen the new Storm collection? My first thoughts when hearing Storm, I thought of Storm from X-Men, and now I just can't get her out of my brain. If you are new and here for Buff Bunny, definitely hit that subscribe button because we do review new Buff Bunny launches every single month. So whenever there's a new Buff Bunny launch, you can expect to see a full review video. With that being said, right now we're gonna go over everything that Buff Bunny is going to be launching in the new Storm collection. It will be dropping Saturday, January 7th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you don't know, my code GATA does save you 10% off any and all Buff Bunny orders. If you do choose to use it, just know it does help support this channel. Always let me know so I can personally thank you. Before we hop into this video, I wanted to take a quick second to thank you all for a wonderful year. 2022 was amazing. I hope that this channel has brought you something, some joy, whether it's info, entertainment, something good. I really want this channel to bring something good to your lives, just as much as you've brought goodness to me. Sharing with you what Buff Bunny shared with me, this is their brief. So there is a mixture of dark and moodiness to represent the storm element while also introducing some pastel cozy pieces for the start of spring. Spring. Many of the activewear pieces will be made with performance sweat wicking fabrics that are great for high intensity or outdoor activities. The color palette represents the silent reflection of our thoughts when it comes to grief and sadness versus the optimism and the sunrise after a storm. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. You know I love Buff Bunny launches because they always have a theme. They're usually super fun, optimistic, positive. Even though there is a twist of optimism in this launch, I feel like the overall direction of this theme, Storm, isn't quite what I was expecting for the new year. Now, not to say it's a bad thing, but it wasn't as exciting as I had anticipated. It's not like it was the Sugar Rush or the Off the Grid or Undead collection. Those I'm like, whoa with the excitement. This one, not so much, but I do think that the color palette and these designs are out there for those who will really vibe with this collection. With that being said, let's go ahead and check out this color palette as a whole. As you can see, we have a ton of cool tones. You have a lot of different shades of blue. I'm not really a blue gal. I just feel like, my skin tone, my preference, I love warm colors. Which we still have some in terms of like the Dawn, which is a really pretty cream color. And I know you see the gray ombre. I grabbed one of those because it's the Storm Collection. If you don't grab the gray ombre, is it really the Storm Collection? Not a ton of patterns dropping in this launch. Check out the Wave Reflective print. That Hustle Print Blue, kinda wish I got that. I would've liked to experience that one. Yeah, the Hustle Print's a really cool, distressed print. So not a ton like we're used to, but that's okay. It's all right to have some staple colors that are just solids. Now, here's where it's at for me. The all new Cloud Athleisure pieces. Right here, right now, I'm gonna just do a little bit of that because I love it. We'll get into it in a second, but I love it. Now, if you guys know me, I don't really pick Buff Money to work out in at the gym. It's not my personal preference, most of their pieces. However, they really do have a nice variety of athleisure, their joggers and things like that. So when I saw that they were dropping a new line of athleisure, obviously I was like, okay, I'm here for that. I'm gonna grab everything that I can. Now let's take a look at each individual piece that they're launching. Please take note of the color options next to the picture. So don't get it twisted and just look at the picture there and think that's the only color available. I really wish Buff Bunny would show one of each color available because it just seems different. When I actually see somebody wearing it, I'll realize then and there like, oh, I really wish I went with that particular color. When I just see it in a little circle, it's really hard to imagine what it would look like. I know it's a lot of extra work, but for a visual person like me, that matters. <laughs> we have the Wanderlust legging, Rebel legging. I grabbed those, gray ombre. Storm legging, I grabbed the mist color, I had to. Legacy legging, which you guys know is my favorite Buff Bunny legging. I didn't grab any of these this time around, I wanted to try new things. Infinity legging, Cloud Jogger, it's where it's at. Emerge legging, really cool, reminds me of the Viper legging, remember the Undead collection. Jewel Heather Jogger, I got one of those. The Demi short, now check out the band there. You can see the Buff Bunny collection script 
logo. The reason I didn't even think about touching these shorts is because the 2.5 inseam is just a little too short for me. Next, we have the Legacy Short. Love those shorts. Training Short Short, again, a little too short for me. Cloud Short. Legacy six inch short. Now we're talking, that's a little more my speed. That's only coming in the color Onyx Black. Okay, let's take a look at some sports bras you can expect to see. Infinity Sports Bra. The Candy Wrap Sports Bra, I of course got one. Every single launch that carries the Candy Wrap Sports Bra, you already know I'm gonna grab that one. That's my favorite of all time from Buff Money. Emerge Sports Bra, oof. Check out that glossy print. I think it's very sexy like Catwoman. Rosa V2 sports bra, grabbed that one. These Storm sports bras, so I actually have the mist to match the leggings, but they sent me a large and I don't know how that happened. Was it a mistake on my end? I really don't know. <laughs> so I have a sports bra that I can't wear, but at least I got the leggings. Wanderlust sports bra, the Monarch sports bra, Cloud, Crop, check out that cloud crop for a second. Do you see that heavy embroidery straight across the chest? Now I'm really glad that they did not add that heavy embroidery on every single one of the cloud pieces. I feel like that could really deter people from actually purchasing these pieces. Sometimes you wanna wear athleisure with minimal logos like me, that's kinda how I am. Once in a blue, if you really love a brand, is when you want their branding just smack dab in the middle, oversized and in your face. But in this case, I'm glad they didn't overdo it with every single piece. The Cloud Bolero. We have a little shrug going on here. You know I had to grab that one because it's super unique. Storm Crop, okay, again, you see that branding in the middle, keyhole, mm -hmm. Also, if you take a close look at the picture, she's wearing it both ways. This top you can actually wear backwards, which is cool. Cloud Crew Pullover, Cloud Bralette, Cloud Hoodie, the Makeover Pullover. So I did request this piece, and when I got it in, it was so different than I anticipated. We will get into that in just a second. And last but not least, the moves tee. Wait, hold up a second. That t-shirt looks awfully familiar. Does it kind of give you some uh, awfully t-shirt vibes? <laughs> moves, more. <laughs> At the end of the video, I will have the Q&A pop up. They always provide this, just to let you know if there's any pieces that they made adjustments to, what to expect in terms of material and things like that, just frequently asked questions. Let's go ahead and start with the storm legging, shall we? Now, like I said before, I did get the matching sports bra, but I was sent a large. So I grabbed a size small. This is the mist color. I think it's really pretty. It's almost a powdery blue. This is one of the pastel colors they were referring to. In terms of the material, there are three components. We're looking at Elysium, Shimmer, and Mesh. You got all three in this legging. As you guys can see, there's obvious mesh paneling that goes wrapping around the legs that also makes up the outer layer of the pocket. But the shimmer aspect is not as noticeable or in your face. They actually put that paneling right on the side of the hips. If you look closely, uh, mind you, I almost passed it up, but you can see the difference in the material here. The shimmer paneling has a really pretty shine to it and the Elysium fabric is just more of a matte. We are looking at a high-waisted legging, no front seam, Thank goodness. I know I say that every single time, but nobody should have a front seam ever again. And don't sleep on that little baby laser cut pocket on the back inside of the band here. I got these in my true size small. I would say they're very true to size, but if you're in between, I would suggest sizing up, only if you're in between. I feel like the overall compression is moderate. The band's not very compressive. The legging throughout starts to feel a little more compressive, but I do believe it's just the mesh paneling. There's a lot of seams going on, so it could feel a little more constricted. I don't really think that's the compression, it's just more or less you feel the seams. They are flat lying seams, so not nearly as uncomfortable as some brands might be. So they did good on that aspect. Not my favorite to wear to the gym because I don't really like seams everywhere, especially over my joints, my quads. When I move around, I can feel them. I'm really ultra sensitive to things like that. But I will say, if that's something that doesn't bother you, these are totally acceptable to wear to the gym. And for this light of a color, mist, not bad in the squat proof department either. And keep in mind, if you are planning on wearing these to the gym, I did get a camel toe in them, even with underwear. I don't, I don't know what it was, but this fabric somehow just wants to make its way up in places it just shouldn't be. Overall breathability, I feel like it's 
okay. The mesh paneling obviously is breathable. I don't feel like the Elysium is super duper breathable. It's also not as stretchy as a lot of their other leggings. Keep that in mind. I am a stretchy bitch. <laughs> I love stretch in all leggings. If it's not stretchy, I really don't want to wear it. So for me and my personal preference, these are more or less at leisure for me. Not something I want to move around in at the gym. So next up, I paired the white candy wrap sports bra with the jewel heathered jogger. I have a lot of experience with the candy wrap sports bra. It came out during the Sugar Rush collection and it is my favorite. I did size down to an extra small. Given the really thick, stretchy, adjustable straps, I can totally get away with that extra small. And I do feel like it overall fits me better. There's no weird big bulkiness. There's no gaping gaps anywhere. Overall snug fit because let's face it, this is a relatively thick bra. There's a lot of material. It can look really bulky if you size up too much. So sizing down is a definite for me. I am obsessed with the backing. It's so ultra comfortable. This is made from their new Bray fabric, very buttery soft, moderate support, removable bra pads. I feel like the thick stretchy straps really make it super comfortable for all day wear. And the front, the fact that it's a little twist front adds a little bit of aesthetic to it. So it's cute and functional. Now, in terms of the jewel jogger, we have here a nylon, polyester, and spandex blend. So it is very, very stretchy, overall super lightweight, and it has a very slippery active wear feel. When I was moving around in this, I said to myself, okay, if there's any jogger in my whole collection that I would actively wear to the gym, it would be this one. This is very sweat wicking, breathable. I feel like this is something you could easily feel comfortable with squatting at the gym. I grabbed a size small. It fits like a glove, almost like a legging, but a jogger version legging. If you're in between though, I would say maybe size up because I feel like this could run very snug. And if you wanna work out in it, I don't really think you want something too tight, especially because the seam at the crotch likes to do a little bit of digging. So if you size down, you're just asking for it. The length is really great. You do have a little bit of that cuffed ankle, very tapered, very body fit. If you look closely, you got the jogger in the front style and the legging in the back. You see that? They didn't have that waistband going all the way around. The entire back looks like a basic legging. So they really mix the two together, which is awesome in my opinion, because I love leggings and I love joggers. So why not make a baby out of them? Now let's chat about my favorite pieces from this entire launch. That's right, I said it. We're looking at the Cloud Bralette Bolero and Jogger set. And it really does feel soft as a cloud. So this is in the color Off-White. Do you remember the Untamed Jogger set? that Buff Bunny came out with, I believe last year. In the Sugar Rush collection, I got it in that really pretty periwinkle color. I loved those jogger sets. They look fresh to death, but my only concern was there's zero stretchiness. It was hard to actually put the hoodie on. It wasn't very comfortable for all day wear. Like if I squat down, it would just pull down. I didn't, I couldn't vibe with the lack of stretch. Well, the cloud jogger set, let me tell you something made with cotton, just like the Untamed, but they added a ton of spandex in this. I'm so excited about that. Finally, they have perfected the sweat set. This is one of the best sweat sets I've ever worn in terms of comfort, coziness, style, very clean cut. You got the embroidered logo. My goodness, you have a complete plush lining. So not at all something you wanna to take to the gym unless you're wild like that. When looking at this set, you would think that there's no stretch in it, but actually wearing it and moving around, it really does feel like you're just engulfed by a nice fluffy, light, beautiful, lightweight cloud. Let's start with the bralette though. So this bralette, very straightforward. You have really thin straps, non-adjustable. You do have removable bra pads, a really thick elastic band going on right here. I think if I could do it all over again, my true size small, I would have sized it down. I feel like over time with this type of material, it's just gonna end up losing its shape a bit. I already feel that I could have gotten away with sizing down. There's just a little bit of extra room. And the way the straps lay, a little off to the side here. They're not exactly where I'm used to them being. So with that being said, I think a smaller size would have been good for me. You have a very squared off neckline, overall really pretty simple bralette. The material is very thick, so keep that in mind. Even the bralette, they didn't go skimp. It's all the same material, very thick and super stylish. So like I said, the inside is very plush. The outside, not so much plush, but it almost feels like it wants to be like felty, <laughs> kind of feels like there's a little level of felt 
the joggers in my true size small are perfection. If you're in between, I would suggest maybe sizing up if you prefer a baggier fit, size down if you prefer a tighter fit. Do keep in mind, I know this with Buff Bunny and Alphalete, that the groin area tends to run a little bit snug here. So I did feel this here as well with my true size. The seam right here down the middle is very close to the crotch. So I wouldn't, for me, suggest sizing down. You have two pockets, the length is great. Again, you do have cuffed ankles. Overall, very simple. The embroidery really adds that elegant touch to this set. I think that they <laughs> nailed it with this jogger. They nailed it. And you can't forget about the bolero. I think this is a really cute little touch too, to wear as a full set. I feel like you could throw a long trench style puffer jacket over this, a beanie, and it just looks like an effortless yet put together look. No thumb holes or anything like that. I love the rib trimming that they added everywhere, even right around here. I think that completes that sweat look. And on the left sleeve, right next to the wrist cuff is the Buff Bunny collection embroidered text written out. The Rebel Legging and the Rosa V2 sports bra in the gray ombre, check it out. Look how shiny this set is. Full on Elysium shimmer. Let's start with the sports bra. So the Rosa V2, I feel like I absolutely could have sized down. If you check out the overlap, it just looks big on me. It just looks a little bit big in the chest area. This is more of a higher coverage sports bra. I think it's really good for those with a bigger chest. It is not adjustable, but you do have removable bra pads. The strappy back is a really nice touch, especially when compared to the really broad coverage of the front. This little flap here <laughs> is not a band. It just kind of hangs over the rib cage. I think that also adds to the length, the little broadness going on right here. So not totally flattering on me. I think if you need more of a higher support sports bra, maybe look into this one. But the real focus I want to talk about here is the leggings. This type of material is not my favorite. <laughs> it's not something I would want to wear all day long. I just feel like it's a little costumey. It, there's no breathability. Picture taking a massive thing of saran wrap and just mummifying your legs. That's how it feels when wearing these leggings. And of course, I've definitely worn things like this from Buff Bunny before. This isn't my first time, not my first go at it. In every single one of their launches, I always want to grab one of their, what I like to call show leggings, and this is that. Something I wouldn't wear to the gym, not even so much athleisurely, but this just better be a special occasion where I'm trying to turn some heads or just make a statement. That's when I would wear something like this. Like I said, not a ton of stretch. So comfort level, it's super important to me. And I didn't quite get that in these. I feel like with this style of high-waisted legging, with this more elongated sports bra, me and my short torso, I just kind of look sandwiched in this set. It's not the most flattering on me. And not to mention that with this type of material, the legging looks wrinkly in certain places because I simply can't fit into them right. I'm five foot three, it's a little bit long on me, so without a doubt, there's gonna be some extra gathering somewhere. This is not the type of material that can be smoothed out on the leg, so I'm seeing that wrinkle. But don't get it twisted. This is still a really good high quality set. I really just think it depends on your preferences, your body type. Lots of factors go into whether I'm gonna actually utilize this set as much as I would hope to. But you can't deny that this is an ill looking set. <laughs> they nailed that shimmery gray ombre. Yes, they did. All right, last but not least, I wanted to throw in one of the makeover pullover hoodies. Not at all what I was expecting when I first saw it. I thought, okay, this is gonna be really lightweight, maybe silky soft type of hoodie. When I got it in, it is straight up like, it's like they went to AC Moore or Michaels, went straight to the fabric section, grabbed a big roll of felt and went to work. It feels like arts and crafts felt. It is very lightweight. There's no doubt about that. There's like zero weight to this piece. But with that being said, you gotta like this type of fabric. It can feel a little sticky and weird. I also wanna make mention that this is the type of material that I kind of learned from. And what I mean by that is, you wanna see something? I bought a pack of felt scrunchies from Ulta. Didn't realize it, I thought, oh, this is gonna be so good, non-damaging to my hair. And then only a week later, it attracted any and all lint that I had flying around my household. This is what you call lint nation, okay? I just know that you're gonna do the same. This is the same material as my Swiffer. It's just gonna cling to all the grossness in my plane. Now, aside from the fabric, it's an overall cute piece. I mean, it looks like it's been 
just straight up cut. There's no actual seams going on right around the neckline. They added in cuff wrists with thumb holes. And again, the hood is super light. So if you just need, <laughs> if you have a terry cotton hoodie that you just want to add a little bit of softness underneath as a lining, totally. But if you were to ask me, well, Ash, which one should I get? Should I go for the makeover pullover or the cloud hoodies and boleros? That's not even a comparison. They did something right with those clouds. I am wearing a small, wouldn't change a thing. If you're looking to wear it as something super baggy, you could absolutely size up a couple of sizes. I wouldn't suggest sizing down. I just feel like I'd be feeling smothered and suffocated in this material. Alrighty, what are we thinking about the new Buff Bunny Storm collection? Drop your comments below. You thinking about shopping this launch? If so, what are you thinking about snagging? Or are you gonna pass up? My big takeaway from this launch. And again, this is just my personal opinion. So take it for what you will. Those cloud pieces. If you're gonna get anything from this launch, get the cloud at leisure. I highly suggest. It's my new favorite. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll try to answer them for you. Again, let me know if you use my support code GATA for 10% off at checkout so I can personally thank you. I appreciate you guys being here. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video.